so in html every element will have its own box so every content that content will be present inside a box for example h1 will get its own box like that okay paragraph p will get its own box so now how does what is this box and why don't we see it on the pages is because we are not actually uh, having the visibility of the border okay so i'll show you what i mean to say for example if you write like this for an element if you write border equal to 10 pixel solid solid black then it is going to create a box of 10 pixel then you can see the box and inside that content will be present now similarly if you say border equal to 30 pixel solid black then the border is going to look like this so it is actually bigger so compared to 10 it is bigger okay and now we are having solid black like that you can use any color <clears throat> similarly you can say border equal to 30 pixel solid black but you can say that the border top is 0 pixel so now if you see this here there is no border so you can actually eliminate one of them like this border type top equal to 0 if I said border right equal to 0 pixel then from the right side border will not be visible so entirely it is 30 pixel border but in the top there is no border okay and then you can also specify four values to the border width the border is 30 pixel solid and if you give four values uh, without using this border if you say border width equal to these four values then what happens is this is number one top this is number two right this is number three bottom and this is number four left the first number will be applied to top that is why you don't see any border here and the second number will be applied to right that is why you are able to see 10 pixel and the third number will be applied to bottom and the fourth number will be applied to left so like this you can design the box you can if you want the borders to the box you can write the values of how much thickness you want each side okay now let us see padding so whenever you have a box model text will be inside it border will be there but between the text and the border there will be some space that is called as padding now if you write padding equal to 20 pixel then it will look like this so there will be a gap between the border and the text so all all four sides it is 20 pixel and then there is something called as margin now let us assume that whatever you are seeing in this black black boundary this is one element and you want some spacing from this element to the other element surrounding it how do you give that spacing by using margin if i say margin then automatically this space will be created and no other box no other element will come into this space no other box will come into this space so like that you can style your website in such a way that there is some spacing and this is the box model so the contents of the box will be present here and then between the border and the content there will be padding and then there will be border and then there will be margin so you can set the sizes of margin and padding just like how we have set the border for example here if you observe it yeah here we have set the border sizes right so left right and uh, bottom and uh, to, uh, top so like this you can also set the same values i mean like that you can set the values to margin and padding okay so that will be the borders okay now div is a special element in html 
maybe so far you might have used html and you might have wondered why div is used in html actually the purpose of using div in html is not for html it is for css so that it will act as a container when you write div and when you write elements inside the div it will act as a container okay now for that box you can style so whenever you want to place various elements together and apply a common styling to them and put them in a box then you can use div so basically div is a content division so how are you going to divide your content content division element you can you can put any content within div and you can style the div now for example here i have two paragraphs within two divisions two divisions okay two divs now for the div i am applying the styling the height the width the color and the background color then automatically they are going to get the height and the width and the color is black so background color is black okay and the text color is uh, bisque right so like this you can use div so div is generally used for grouping the elements together and applying styles to them together okay thank you now what happens is there will be many people adding these styles so generally let us assume that you have a html page which means a web page and then many people are applying styles to the web page okay and the css file itself can be uh, a very big file like 2000 lines of code in the css very big then what happens is by mistake uh, many people might uh, uh, give styles to the same element so what i mean to say is let us say there is a h1 h1 element okay let us say there is a h1 element now assume that many people are applying styles to this at, at different places then finally which style will this h1 get that is the question okay so here you have to understand precedence which style will get more precedence over the other style so there are various rules we will discuss all those rules now now the first thing is position so whenever let us say there is an item l1 generally you will not write like this but by mistake if this happens if there is an element l1 and color is applied two times one is red and other is blue now what will l1 get well will it get red or will it get blue <clears throat> here you have to go by the position that is why this is called as position section so now in the position whichever is having the lower position that will get higher priority which means out of these two you might think that whichever has occurred first that style will be applied no whichever has occurred last that style will be applied therefore l1 will get a color of blue so whenever you see the same uh, whatever the same kind of styles applied then look at the position and you can determine which one is applied in this case blue is applied now specificity how specific are you in selecting a selector okay so let us say there is an element l1 or sorry h1 and now there are many uh, many ways to select it let us say li is there an element li is there one way to select it is by using its li that is one way of selecting it okay the other way of selecting it is if it is present inside a class you can select it by the class other way of selecting it is attribute okay li and then an attribute other way of selecting it is by using the id okay now if we have applied all these styles i mean all these four rules are applied then which color will this li get that is the question so highest priority is given to id selector next attribute selector next class selector next element selector which means element selector will get the least priority so if you apply all these four then our id selector will win which means orange color will be the 
style applied finally in case if id selector is not there if this rule is not there only these three rules are there then attribute selector will win okay in case if attribute selector is not there if only element selector and class selector are there then class selector will win if this is not there then obviously there is only one rule that will win okay so this is the order of priority given different kinds of selections okay it depends on how specific you are okay because li is very general and class can be applied to many uh, elements li elements same class can be applied and uh, attribute can also be applied to many elements but if you look at the id it will be applied to only one element it is very specific that is why highest priority is given to id okay now the next one is type so if you have inline internal and external and at these three places if you have, you have applied three styles which one will get higher priority for example this is inline styling and using style you can give internal styling and this is external styling now if you have applied the same style using all the three methods which one will get highest priority highest priority will be given to inline so first inline will be applied if inline is not there then internal will be applied if internal is not there then only external will be applied okay so when when the conflict is like this it is resolved this way next one is important so sometimes you can use the keyword important in order to mention that this style is more important now when you have two styles i mean two colors then the one with important will get higher priority okay and now if you put all the four types of classification position will take the highest then specificity then type then importance we will see an example you'll understand it we'll see few examples okay now we will see examples So here, if you observe it, there is H1 element and then we are applying style to H1 element and the styles are color red and color blue. Which style will it get? So it is going to get blue because out of these two, the position of blue is lower. That is why it will get blue. You can see the preview. So you can see that blue is getting higher priority. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. <clears throat> now there is H1 and it is in a class called A class and it has an ID called an ID. Okay. Now which one is going to now now you have applied styles like this using the ID selector and using the class selector which one is going to get higher priority so out of ID and class we know that ID has to get the higher priority therefore blue will be the color blue violet will be the color see blue violet is the color red is ignored even though it is applied it is ignored and now let's see the next one so we have h1 which is having two classes one is a class other one is another class now you are have you are selecting a class and another class and applying two colors which one will get priority now there is both are color both are classes only whichever is lower because depending on the position that will get higher priority therefore the color is going to be violet blue violet so there is blue violet okay now let us say we have h1 and which is which is in the which is having an id an id and then an inline style is applied so style equal to color blue an inline style is applied and again internal style is applied by selecting the id now which one will get higher priority between internal and inline inline will win therefore blue will be the answer yeah blue is the answer okay thank you